What's up, iHeart Country? I'm Ashley Cook, and you can check out my music now on the free iHeart Radio app and listen for my song Your Place on your favorite iHeart Country station. Oh man, the inspiration in the writing room that led to your place. Well, I was dating somebody and I found out that they cheated on me. And I honestly wanted to always write a song about it, which inspired honestly a lot of songs. But the day that I walked into the room to write Your Place, I had the idea in my phone for a long time of It Ain't Your Place or shortened to Your Place. And I walked in the room and I, I pitched the idea to Jordan Mitten and Mark Trussell. And honestly, it was really an easy song to write and it felt like such an anthemic thing for anybody that's been through a cheating situation or a tough relationship. As a songwriter, I love kind of like a double meaning or double entendre, and I love how at the end of the chorus it says that like, you don't get to care where I'm waking up these days. It ain't your place or like your house or your apartment. So it's really, you know, an anthem for anybody that's been through a pretty terrible relationship or been cheated on. I'd have to say my favorite lyric in the song is the bridge. Um, it says, don't say come over, don't swear that you're different. You made your bed and I ain't sleeping in it. And I just love the way that that punches. So I've been writing music and singing since I was 11 years old. I've always loved this industry, loved the, the music and, and songwriting and, and all of it. Um, and it wasn't until I, I moved to Nashville and I went to Belmont University and I competed in this showcase in 2019 um, called the Country Showcase, which previous winners like Brad Paisley and Tyler from FGL and so many different amazing artists have, have performed in this showcase and gone to Belmont. And I kind of, you know, applied on a whim, to be honest, but I got in. I was the only non-music major to ever get into the showcase and also the only non-music major to ever win the showcase. So I won it in 2019 and one of the judges is my now agent who basically was like, hey, you should just give this a year. Just give it a year and see what happens, see what, what opportunities come of it. Just really kind of, you know, give it your all for a year and that was around 2020 time frame um, and so obviously we couldn't really play shows or do any of that kind of stuff and so I, I got on social media and I started posting my, my original music and cover music and now all of this has happened. Okay, five facts people should know about me. Um, I'm a massive hopeless romantic, like I romanticize everything, I swear. Um, I'm a people pleaser and a huge loyalist, which gets me into tricky situations because, like, you know, bad relationships and stuff, because I, it's really hard for me to walk away from somebody that I love. My favorite color is green, and I have a weird obsession for tiny things. I don't know, I can't explain it, it just is what it is. Um, and let's see, I moved around a lot growing up. Like I lived in like 19 homes before I was 18. So I don't really have like an accent people say, like I don't have a country accent or a Midwestern accent or anything like that. Cause I lived in so many different places and it kind of all just morphed together. The first time I ever heard my song on the radio, um, it was my song called Jealous of the Sky. And it's a song about my best friend that passed away when I was 18 from cancer. And I wrote this song, it's a really personal song to me and it was, before any publishing deal, any record deal, any management deal, literally anything. And I was sitting in a car with my best friend, his name is Matt, who also was best friends with Adam, who passed away. And the Bobby Bone Show, Our Heart Women of Country, played the song um, during their segment. And there wasn't a dry eye in the whole car. We all were just bawling because it was, it was such a full circle moment to know like my dreams, my career aspirations are coming true and my songs on the radio. And also um, it was a song that meant so much to all of us. And something that really was so personal to me. So thank you, iHeart and Women of Country for playing that song for the first time. <laughs>